Now we're going to look at radial vector representations. This picks up where we left off with circular and spherical vector representations. We're going to write vector x equals r times r hat, where r is the length of the vector x, and r hat is the vector x divided by the length. The vector r hat implicitly encodes any angular dependence along in the path on the unit sphere. The vector x prime, by chain rule, is r prime r hat plus r r hat prime. We're going to calculate r hat prime. This is an illustration of r hat and r hat prime, where r hat prime is scaled to unity, tracing out an arbitrary path on a unit sphere. Observe that r hat prime is always tangential to the unit sphere and perpendicular to r hat at all points. We'll need a little lemma, namely, r prime is x prime dotted with r hat. To derive this, we start with r squared equals x dot x, take derivatives of both sides. You have 2r r prime equals 2x prime dotted with x. Divide through by 2r on both sides, we're left with r prime equals x prime dotted with x over r, which is r hat. We're going to derive the expression for r hat prime. That's the derivative of the vector x divided by its length r. We use chain rule to find x prime divided by r minus r prime over r squared, the derivative of 1 over r, all times x. Factor out r in the denominator to find 1 over r all times x prime minus r prime r hat. Now we factor out r hat. We can do this by writing 1 equals r hat squared for the x prime term. Come up with r hat divided by r all times r hat times the geometric product with x prime minus r prime. We use our lemma to write r prime as r hat dotted with x prime. And we notice that we have the geometric product of r hat with x prime minus the dot product of r hat with x prime, which is the wedge product of r hat with x prime. This gives us our final result. r hat prime is r hat divided by r all times by vector r hat wedge with x prime. Here's a sneakier way to come up with the same result. We can write x prime equals 1 times x prime, where 1 is r hat times r hat. We factor out r hat write the geometric product r hat with x prime as a dot product plus the wedge product. We can use our lemma to identify r hat dotted with x prime as the derivative of the scalar length r prime. Just your x prime is r prime times r hat plus a rejection of r hat from x prime. We can also expand the derivative of x prime as r prime r hat plus r r hat prime. And notice that we must have r times r hat prime equal to the rejection r hat times the bivector r hat wedge with x prime. That gives us the same result. We can expand r hat prime as a conventional triple vector cross product. We start by taking the vector r hat times the wedge product and closing that in a grade one selection. As this is a vector in the first place, it doesn't change the result. We then expand the wedge product as a cross product, as i times the cross product, commute the i, and are left with the geometric product of r hat with a wedge product, a vector. We expand that as dot product plus i times cross product. Our dot product term is a scalar all multiplied by a pseudo scalar, which is grade 3, so the grade 1 selection of that term is 0. We're left with just the triple cross product. We incorporate the sign of i squared equals minus 1 into the order of that cross product. As an application of these results, let's compute the kinetic energy of a particle with mass m found that our velocity is r prime r hat plus r hat times r hat wedge with v. Since r hat and r hat prime are perpendicular, we can compute the velocity square by squaring each of these terms independently. We have energy equals mv squared over 2, which is m by 2 of r prime squared plus m by 2 of r hat times r hat wedge v all squared. Let's insert a factor of r squared, changing one of our r hats into an r. That leaves us with, for that term, 1 over 2m r squared times r hat times r wedge with mv. mv is our momentum, and we'll write a bivector angular momentum as L equals r wedged with mv, or r wedged with p. We can now write our energy in terms of L. The angular momentum term is 1 over 2m r squared times r hat times L times r hat times L. But r hat and l and to commute we can change the order flipping the sign leaving us with r hat l squared r hat l squared is a scalar so we can write this as l squared times r hat squared and r hat squared is one we're left with the energy one half mv squared equals m over two of r prime squared minus one over two mr squared 
L squared. The minus sign is because we've used a bivector angular momentum representation, which squares the negative values. To summarize, given x equals r times r hat, we found that x prime is r prime r hat plus r r hat prime. We found a geometric algebra expression for r hat prime. r hat prime equals r hat divided by r times r hat wedged with x prime. That's just one of r times the rejection of r hat from x prime, all the non-radial components of x prime. We also found the conventional triple cross product representation of r hat prime. Finally, we found an expression for the kinetic energy of a point particle with mass m. That kinetic energy is 1 over 2m times mr prime squared minus 1 over 2mr squared times the angular momentum squared. mr prime is the radial component of the particle's momentum, and L is the angular momentum r wedge p. This video was created with Manum. For more content, be sure to like, subscribe, and click the bell. Check out my blog, peteryo.com, for more geometric algebra material, where you can also find a free PDF copy of my book, Geometric Algebra for Electrical Engineers, and detailed latex typeset notes from a number of physics and engineering courses.